What's going on everybody? I'm Jeff Rogue, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, how you doing? If your eyes are working, you probably notice this clothing rack to the left of eye, and it does have some brand new clothes on it. Where did I get them? You want to know that? Head over to my Instagram, shoot me a DM. I also plan to upload a reel with this video, and if I do find the time, I'll probably do some on-body shots while I'm talking about the pieces here that I'll record here in just a little bit. Before we hop into that, if you have any questions, like I just mentioned, reach out to me on Instagram. Easy way to get in direct, free contact with Jeff Robe, and I'd be more than happy to help you out. If you want to really support Jeff, you can head over to Patreon. I do have a full-length Patreon with in-depth videos uh, talking about things that I can't talk about here um, due to the tight grip that YouTube's policies hold. But I would love to help you out, and for a small fee of $5, you can become a member of the Jeff Robe Patreon and it really helps me out. You'll also get your name featured at the end of my videos. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and hop on into it today. Boom. Versace, Versace. Versace shades to start it off. I've never had Versace sunglasses. And um, as you'll see as I pull these out, these aren't quite men's. It does come with this little Gianni Versace card. And you get the Versace dust rag as well but say your mom wants some shades your grandma your aunt your sister your girlfriend guess what you can hook them up got the Versace here in the box and this is a in like white leather like really good feeling case that comes with this as well um not only are the products going to be top quality that you're able to obtain but everything else like all the little goodies so I'm about to take these out there's one little plastic sleeve two plastic sleeves, three plastic sleeves, just to get down to these glasses. And they're almost kind of like a wine shade. It looks like a, just a light, a light sweet wine. It has the Versace Medusa on the right side with the ring. And then it says Gianni Versace on the other side. But these look absolutely sick. Like I said, these are definitely a women's sunglass. Am I about to put them on anyways? I am wow you know powerful that's one word to describe it i feel powerful um not the darkest tint on these but it does give you just a little bit of shade got the embellishments on the side kind of a, just a nice light wine color that's what i would call these it's a little little rosy um yeah so very cool good way to start off the video like i said comes with all the goodies got the box has um the dust cloth and it comes with the licensing card or whatever you want to call these little thingies yeah so very cool gonna put these back in the box and we're gonna keep it moving into these clothes that i just got don't need that throw it on the ground boom you probably saw me wearing this one a video back or two um i just kind of have it there to block now but if you want this one it's not from this seller that i'm about to display all these things but it is from a very dear and uh close seller that i am buddied up with so if you want that i can always hook you up with that and this seller might also have that as well but let's get this thing started christian dior sweatshirt and this does have the thick 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 cotton going on in there into the stitching of the armpit and then you get that christian dior couture right there looking absolutely sick this thing is pretty heavy as well um i really like these sweaters to layer up whenever i wear um, the puffer coats like you don't i don't like wearing a t-shirt with the puffer coat because if you're wearing the puffer coat to begin with it's probably pretty cold outside so you're not just going to have a t-shirt on probably have something sweater on going uh one thing i really liked about this one and why i got it was it has this really thick mock collar almost um and that's something i like i really like um a thicker collar on shirts i think it just looks kind of a little bit classier looks real nice i don't know there's just not much behind it but if you got a little collar on the shirt uh, like the pro club I, if you watch my videos you probably I own like 20 white pro club shirts and they all have that thick collar so I really like that all of these items you're about to see also are in size XL 
I'm about six foot one, about 185 ish pounds, depending on the day. Um, and typically whenever I order from overseas, I always get an XL. A good indicator to go off of is if they only offer like four sizes in an item, then it's gonna be an American size. But if they have from triple XS up to triple XL, then it's not gonna be an American sizing. It's probably gonna be in Chinese sizing and you'll need to size up two sizes, which means if you wear an XL, you'll want the 3X and you'll be on your way to owning some very cheap, high quality designer clothing. And that is my goal. That way you guys can look the way that you want for a fraction of the cost. I say that in almost every single one of my videos and it's true. I've got to help thousands of people and I would love to help you. I'm a DM away, like I said earlier. I'm gonna pull out these Dior shorts now. Absolutely gas. As you see, it starts solid at the top, and as you go on, it has Dior written in just multiple different fonts right there. It does have a pocket on the back, along with two pockets on the front, drawstrings, and some of these designer shorts you'll get, you'll notice they have a mesh lining. It's almost like a lot of these two-way as a swimsuit. Um, this one could probably be a swimsuit as well, just based on the material. But if you look inside, this one doesn't have the mesh or anything. It does have all the tags. It says Christian Dior on the tag, Christian Dior on the tag attached to the shorts. And just a really nice, you know, summer, springtime, warm day short. But that's not where these end because I also got the shirt to match to go along. So with the tech suits and all that stuff being in, kind of paired clothing and paired stuff has really gotten popular, especially with athletic wear. It's just super easy. You don't have to think about it. You got a match instead of something. You can go grab it, toss it on. You're out the door no sweat but that's kind of what i was going for with this although i do i'm probably going to wear these shirts uh shorts a lot with just you know you can wear a gray wear a black shirt with it and they're going to be fire same goes with the shirt instead of rocking the full set you can just wear you know a solid gray or solid black bottom and it's going to go one thing i've noticed is that these are super light and this is a very thick cotton t-shirt so this one more winter-esque of a t-shirt but nonetheless um, whenever you get these designer shirts, you'll notice that the cotton material used in them is just a little bit step above of what you're going to find that Target makes their clothes out of pretty much. And since I've been doing this, I've, you know, I have closets full of clothes, but um, they last. And that's not like just wear them once, don't wash them, hang them up until you wear them again. Like wear them, wash them, and they're good. Like it's, it's really really awesome just i don't know it's hard to put it in the words because it's it's just it's out there and they're not going to show it to you but that's what i'm trying to do trying to hook you guys up trying to get you guys in the loop boom christian dior trousers wow i have uh tried these on if you follow me on instagram you saw the dance I did in these. I was curious because when I was putting them up like to the waist, they were a little short looking. So I was curious to see how short they were going to be. But it really just kind of rides right above the ankle, which in a lot of business fashion and stuff like that, that's about where the tapering of the pants comes and then no sock with a loafer, or low cut sock showing off your ankle uh, looks good. But these are absolutely sick, has an oblique pattern. If you have any of the Dior bags that have this oblique, it has a very unique texture to it. Very, very thick material, almost like a canvas. I mean, I guess it technically could be, but it's very, very thick. Um, one thing I also really liked and I noticed when I was trying these on is it has this satin black lined insole as well. Insole or whatever, inseam, I guess you would say. Here, let me unbutton them. There we go. So you can see all that satin black in there, making these real cozy. Um, it was a little tight around the crotch, but overall it fits in the waist. I just wasn't, I didn't hate the length of them, but if they were a little bit longer, it wouldn't hurt anything, you know? So, but that's just kind of how it goes, um, especially with bottoms and if they're not sweats, um, it can be tough finding the right length. I'm kind of oddly shaped to where I have um, kind of a short torso and really long legs so I can usually wear like 
like a medium or large in the tops and then I need an XL for the length and the bottoms, but then the waist will be um, a little big. Moving it on, this is something I really, really wanted for a long time as well. I have one of the Sex Records hoodies, but that one's kind of like, you're not gonna wear that all the time. Like I, I wear it around the house, but it's like, I go to a lot of restaurants and family restaurants and stuff like that. Like I'm not gonna wear something that says Sex Records on it to a, you know, Texas Roadhouse. But uh, this one, Young Dolph had this one. I think Key Glock had this one as well. I just remember seeing the smiley uh, face on the back. It's got the little gold tooth. And then there's also eyes up here in the diamonds. But this is um, the Chrome Hearts collab uh, with Off-White. I'm pretty sure that's what this is back here. So it doesn't really get much better than this. The Chrome Heart skull is in red right here. And then you have just this uh, crosses on the side. Let me see if I can't get that to open up a little bit so like that i think it's funny that sleeve graphics have come back it used to be something like you'd see on hoodies at kohl's back in the day when you went shopping with your grandma in 2005 and now they've kind of brought back the sleeve graphics so that's cool but this one's kind of sentimental to me like i said i saw it um in the dolphin glock video i can't think of the one but he was wearing it he's one of my favorites so i had to get it if you watch my reels on tiktok you probably have a good understanding that i like young dolphin key glock by now um and last but not least uh these are sick i have two pairs of chrome hearts uh shorts already but they're one's a cream colored and it's more of like a polyester material and then i have a white pair that's cotton but being that they're white, I kind of shy away from wearing them real often because I don't want to get them stained and all that good stuff. So getting a nice black pair. And if you can see, these are already kind of pre-distressed. So they look, look a little worn just already getting them. Um, so don't have to be afraid to wash them, bleed out the black and whatnot. Uh, this hoodie's brand new, so you can kind of tell the difference on black before wash and then this is kind of more distressed has the three crosses on this side a yellow a tan and a blue and then you got another tan and green on this side so uh kind of gave you options on different shoes and stuff you can wear with these does have two pockets on the side and a pocket on the back and like i mentioned earlier all of these items are size xl which tends to fit for me um, if you have questions or you're ever doubting uh, what I did very early on is I went to men's warehouse and I got measured and I tipped the guy 10 bucks and um, my measurements really haven't changed much. So I still have that. And then they're typically do it in feet and inches. So you can convert it to centimeters and that's what the Chinese sellers are going to want. They're going to want the centimeters conversion. Um, but there's apps for that. It's super duper easy. You can do it. If you need help, I can help you out. I'm a DM away. I think that's the third time I've said that. Got some cool belts up there as well. Uh, love the accessories, love the stuff. I love stuff, if you guys couldn't tell. So yeah, I'm Jeff Rope. Thanks for tuning in today, checking out all this super sick product that I just got in. Uh, like I said, if you wanna know where I got these things, you can head over to my Instagram where I'm allowed to uh, kind of tag and do a little bit more sourcing than I can do over here. That's just kind of the rules. And after losing a couple YouTube channels, I really don't want to lose another one so yeah uh drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you have any questions like i said dm me over on instagram i'm jeff robe and i'll see you guys next time when i got some more stuff for you hey dude